Rickon Stark was quickly forced to resign as Lord Par forced to resign as Lord Paramount in favor of Benjamin II Car Stark, who despite his treason had escaped execution through winning his trial by combat. Many in the north were still Car Stark loyalists, and the unpopular Rickon was not particularly interested in moving back to the cold north after so many years in King's Landing. To the surprise of many in the realm, in 8322 King Renly passed away between the legs of his queen after a night of passionate lovemaking. Many throughout his life had thought that Renly was not particularly charmed by the fairer sex, but Queen Marjorie's bedmates later confirmed that there was no foul play. The familiar sounds of royal intimacy had not been particularly different from the usual. The Iron Throne passed to Renly's son, Robert II. Not as well liked as his father, the cruel, stubborn and cynical Robert lacked his father's charm and good looks, but Renly had ruled for 20 years, and so most lords had gotten used to the status quo and didn't immediately plan their revolt. Although many factions formed to oppose cruel King Robert, Robert's diplomats convinced the North and the Vale to remain neutral for the time being, through appealing to honour and to the love they bore Renly, Robert's father. In 8324, during an outbreak of the bloody flux in King's Landing, Lady Rhaenys Atroxiaris, known as Rhaenys the Dragon Rider, arrived in King's Landing on the back of a dragon. It was Drogon, the largest of Daenerys Targaryen's three dragons. Despite scaring the city half to death, Rhaenys arrived alone and without hostile intent. She had trouble controlling the massive beast and requested the use of King's Landing's dilapidated dragon pit. Ambitious and uncaring when it came to the safety of the small folk, King Robert allowed it, sending maesters to study the chained beast to find a way to tame it, should Rhaenys the Dragon Rider before an unfortunate accident. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to JoJo Gaming, and welcome back to your boy, King Robert II, the young of the Iron Throne, who has been precariously holding on to his uh, very newly won uh, throne. Although I guess I guess he's been sitting here for about four years. Uh, we, we we skipped through a lot of it uh, quite fast because uh, we had a big epidemic flowing uh, over our lands, uh, and and not that much happened really. Uh, but we did uh, have a visit from uh, a very interesting person, namely uh, where is she? Here we go. Mister Drogon is a, is a courtier in the Iron Throne, a dragon, affectionate, wrathful, strong. Was an incompetent commander. <laughs> yeah, that's just a trait, I guess. Uh, and he has a claim on the city of Marine, right? Okay. Um, yes, and uh, at, the, at the end of last episode, our boy uh, Lynn Corbray asked us to help him out uh, fighting Man's Raider again. Well, not Man's Raider. It's uh, it's a different uh, person. Ar Aragor Skulls Morn. So let's do that. Yes, we're right, right uh, north at dawn. Uh, yeah, King Robert is not very well liked in his realm, uh, as you can see. Most people hate him, so we'll see uh, if there won't be uh, if there will be a revolt uh, in this episode or not. Let's uh, let's see. But, uh, first, first off, we're gonna fight uh, the wildlings, so uh, let's do that. Let's uh, let's raise uh, the northern army up here. Should we lead it ourselves? Yeah, we're a pretty good commander, right? We're pretty good. Uh, Theonia, yeah, you've been uh, you've been beyond the wall. Uh, at the previous wars, so uh, you know the terrain. You can uh, you can help us out. Herbert of Storm's Drum has declared Sir Herbert's claim on the Stormlands War on King Robert the Young. Okay. All right. Interesting. This guy has declared war on us. I guess I missed him. Twenty-four k troops, huh? That's 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 actually quite a lot. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, let's raise some troops then in uh, King's Landing. Let's do it for real this time. Well, yeah, we have about 40k troops, so we should be we should be fine, I suppose. Uh, you guys, we will raise you here. You can go to King's Landing. No problem at all. I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine in fighting this guy. Who is this guy, actually? Herbert of Storm's Drum. Durandon. Ah, right, 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 right. He's Durandon. How many more Durandons are there? What do they even hold? Okay, well, yeah, so the Durandons are the... These sort were of traditional Lords of the Stormland, and they were defeated by uh, Aegon Targaryen. And then uh, Aegon's friend and uh, some say stepbrother, uh, Oris Baratheon, who is our ancestor, was given the, uh, the Stormlands. But I guess uh, these guys don't agree. Ah, Eustace is joining me. 
Uh, Olimar is joining me. Uh, oh, the Benjin is joining me, great. Doran is joining me. Everybody is joining me, great. The faction of disloyal lords led by Argelect Musgood has risen up in support of Herbert Durandus claim. Okay, it's just this guy, I guess. Traitors, all of them. Ah, Lord uh, Reynald is joining me. Everybody is joining me. Wow, that's great. I was not really expecting that. Uh, not everybody, but many people. Okay, let's uh, let's first fight the war in the north here. Let's go to Castle Black. Uh, your gates have discovered by attention that nobody has been designed. Designated as regent. This guy wants to be designated regent. Nope. Uh, we should uh, we should hire a new hand of the king, I guess. Stefan, my brother. That's fine, I suppose. He's not that that great, but you know, he uh, he will do for now, I suppose. John Messi, Lord of Messi's Hook, can be my master of coin. Yeah, let's uh, let's do it like this. And there's another regent. My wife, maybe. Is she any good? Marjorie, oh my uh, my mother. Yeah, sure. That's a pretty classic move for uh, medieval Europe, I think. That the mother is uh, is the regent. Or at least in the Regency Council. But uh, we will fight here in the north first. Let's, uh, let's go beyond the wall. Fight at Craster's Keep. Which the wildlings now own. People are trying to kill me. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, uh, if this is the first man. Yep. Okay, let's not, uh, let's not uh, overlook this war down here. I think uh, we've gathered uh, sufficient forces to, uh, to give it a go. Give, uh, well, my, my wife can lead armies. She's pregnant, though. <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's move south, people. Up here in the north, we are not fighting anyone yet. Okay, let's see well, we can besiege this uh, Fist of the First Man. I think that's his capital, right? King Aragar Skullsmorn is not here. Okay, too bad. That's 43% already. We need to fight uh, fight a battle, really. Heavy reinforcements from uh, Lord Paramount Robin, who is my master at arms. Alrighty, great. Uh, everybody assembled? Yes, looks like it. Okay, now we'll wait for these guys. Another 2k troops. Let's not uh, let's not risk uh, let's not risk a defeat, you know. There we go. All right. Uh, defensive bonus from Hills. Yeah, we cannot avoid that. Dangerous factions, really. Prince Stefan for the Iron Throne. That's not that dangerous. Come on, guys. And Lord Einar for the Iron Throne. That's the, the Targaryen uh, loyalist faction that's that's still here, I guess. They are pressing the claim of uh, Daenerys Targaryen's uh, little, little little kid. With Einar of No Man's Land. Okay, here we go. New Lord Commander on the wall. Arnell Underhill. Underhill? Mr. Underhill? That's, uh, is that a uh, reference to uh, Lord of the Rings? I guess so, right? Roderick Underhill. Hmm, I don't know any of these. Alright, uh, we have a new uh, Lord Commander. Good going, guys. Okay, we are winning this battle against this guy. Looks like it. Looks like we are. Okay, so we should be fine. I don't know why he decided to attack me. Stupid Durandans. I mean, uh, and I, I'm also cruel, right? So I'm gonna execute them all. <laughs> Torture and execute. Um, can we feed into our dragon? That would be great, actually. Uh, Durwald, I don't know who you are. Uh, but you're dead. <laughs> so into slavery. <laughs> um, execute, blind, castrate. Let's see if we can feed into our dragon. Crush to death. <laughs> Put him in the bear pit. Take his bowels out. Burn him alive, boil him alive, saw him in half, bury him alive. Wall him up in a tomb, break him on the wheel. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. Uh, crushed to death. Let's, uh, let's have him hung, hung, drawn, and quartered. I'll just throw him in the bear pit. <laughs> Excuse. Don't know who you are, but you're, you're dead. Uh... I will personally strangle her to death. Sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I shall squeeze the life from her. Wow. What a dick. Ah, that's the, uh, yeah, Harlot of, Harlot of Stormdrum. This is the guy who, uh... Oh, he died in suspicious circumstances, I guess. But he is a Durandan. So, uh... 
He deserves to be executed. Execute. Behead him. Execute. Um, tear his bowels out, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Leona, hello. Uh, let's visit Chambers. Can we do that? No, okay. I, I'm enjoying this too much. I shouldn't enjoy this so much. Uh, hanger, sure. He's also a Durandon. I want all these Durandons dead, man. Execute. Le Lene. Lene. Ah, she's, uh, she's, she's his wife. Uh, let's do a uh, bear and maiden fair. Right? The bear, the bear, and the maiden fair. Let's put her in front of the uh, the bear pit. Herbert Durandon. Yeah, you, you, you definitely need to die. Oh, are you not in my... Oh, you are. Okay. Why can we not execute you then? Oh, I guess we... Uh, we have to uh, do a fair trial or something first, eh? Who is this guy? Robin. Execute. Whoever you are, you're dead now. Rebels armies have been crushed. This guy wants to uh, be brought before me. Uh, Drake Grave. Send him to the dungeon. Okay, he's attacking me. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I'll crush him as well. This guy, suitable. How about the Oubliette? Yes, indeed. We execute you already? No. Torture. Yep. That'll teach him. Mutilate. Disfigured. Okay, we're being very... I mean, I'm just being being true to the character, eh? He's, uh, he's cruel. He uh, is wrathful. He would do this kind of thing. It's not, uh, not like I'm enjoying it. Okay, uh, fair. That's enough. We'll be at you. There you go. Sharon. Hello, Sharon. Is that, uh, oh, is that my daughter? I missed that. Sharon Barrett. You know, okay, I guess that's a fine name. We should, uh, we should try to marry off our kids, right? Or is Bretty and is now eight years old? Oh, yeah, we, uh, we have him, we, we're having him trained by, uh, forced to train. Why can I not do that? It's not a commander, it's a greater fighting skill than ours. Surely I have a great, oh, I don't, I guess. Don't have a greater fighting skill than, uh, than that guy. Uh, I want to attack some wildlings, man. These guys, Magnar, Svenar. The war has subsided for now. Yep, we, we appoint the old council, that's fine. All our buddies, all of them are there, learn it. Paramount Reign of the Westerlands. With Paramount Robin the Candid. Yep. Uh, your friend has been captured and taken to Hestwick as a prisoner. Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> I just had the tour scurling past and received the adulation of my subjects. There's no subjects up here, man. But as my open carriage took a turn past the scroll depository, <laughs> I suddenly heard a whizzing sound of an arrow flying past mere inches from my head. Did it come from a grassy No, Oh dear. Someone tried to kill me. <laughs> we should stop these plots, I guess. I don't want you guys uh, trying to kill me. Who was trying to kill me then? Okay, do I know who it is? A whole bunch of people. <laughs> Hello. Can you please end your plot? Okay, we're already doing that, I guess. Plot power defense plus 20. Okay. My carriage was bombarded with arrows, but thanks to what must have surely been the intervention of the mother, I miraculously emerged unscathed. Great. My beloved brother is still not married. Okay, I will find him someone. Yeah, let's uh, let's marry Stefan off. Who can we marry him to? Mm. A Tyrell or a, a Reynald or Westerling? A Westerling would be, would be quite nice, I think. They're all quite old, though. Uh, or quite young. Uh, Tishara Westerling. 14 year old uh, girl. He's uh, the sister of Lord Paramount Reynolds. Yeah, that sounds good. Hello. Would you like to marry my brother Stefan? Yeah, you would. Okay, great. You guys are a nice match, I think. I think she's a nice girl. Gregarious, kind, honorable. Yeah, you, you told me this game. Come on. Turn the Oubliette. Okay, whatever. Okay, we, uh, we won the Battle of Ice Camp. Great. We captured this guy in battle. Let's execute him. <laughs> uh, castrate, yeah. He had it coming. And then there he is. Him. Ransom him. 70 gold, wow. Can you not afford it? No, I'm not by a long shot. Okay, well, in that case. Execute. Hang him. Uh, many of the followers are uh, displeased. Well, he shouldn't off-crossed me. Come on, game. Come on. 
Okay, let's uh, let's move our army back uh, down south because we beat the wildlings once again. Ah, I accept your suggestion that Prince Stefan and Tishara get married. Tishara Westerling. Very nice. Do I have any other uh, brothers who are of age? Probably right. I have quite a few brothers. Oh, my uh, my half brother died as a bloody flux. That's sad. So Stefan is my. Uh, he's, he's quite a bit younger than me. Yeah, ten years younger. We have Loris, who is fourteen. He's great, actually. Oh, he's been training. He's been trained by uh, Lord Olimar. Lord Paramount Olimar. It makes sense that he's great then. Should marry him off to somebody too. Prince Loris. And we have Liana, but she's already married. Yes, she's married to uh, Lord Paramount Robin. Um. Olimar has a has a daughter, seven year old daughter, Jelena of the Ville. We can marry, can betroth her to uh, one of mine, or oh, to Oris maybe. My son Oris, my son and heir. Yeah, that makes sense. I think. Yeah, let's do that. They're about the same age. Olimar is a trusted ally and friend, right? Acquaintance Lord. Uh, okay, whatever. Excommunicated. Oh man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That sucks, because everybody already hates me. Excommunicated is a minus, minus 27. Oh, minus 25 opinion. I'm so dead, aren't I? <laughs> I'm probably not going to survive long in this rain. I hope Oris is, uh, is, a, good, uh, is a good kid. <laughs> I hope he turns out well. Can we force him to train? No. Okay, he accepts the betrothal. Great. So Oris is married off. Um, so we should marry off our... Brother Loris to somebody. Maybe uh, Martel. Any uh, young Martel women? Not really. Uh, no, th these are all boys. Mm. Maybe a Tyrell. Uh, do you have any... Are there any young, uh, young Tyrell women? <laughs> Not really. Okay. Um, Westerland we already did. The Riverlands... Stormlands we haven't given out yet. What about the north? We could marry uh, somebody, uh, some some Karstark maybe. Kragan, he's dead. Not that many Karstarks left. Oh, there are actually. We have Winton. Who are the uh, who's the the next heir after Winton? Then John Karstark. Who's that? This guy, Castellan of the North. Where are you in the family tree? Okay, you're the. Uh, uh, cousin of uh, Benjamin the second. You also don't have any, 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 any daughters here, are, don't you? L oh, l we have uh, Linara Karstark. She's a bit far away in the in the line, I guess. But you know why not? You can marry Loris. I think she's a, she's a pretty good choice. Uh, so now that we've married off some people, I hope we can, uh, for example, have a a non-aggression pact. Oh, we already have a non-aggression pact with Lord Paramount Olimar. And also with Lord Paramount of the Westerlands. And Dora and Martel. Okay, that's actually... Wow, that's a, that's actually a nice... Uh, nice diplomatic play then, because uh, the factions are pretty strong. Otherwise, and everybody hates me, so... Do you want to uh, have a non-aggression pact? Or are we too uh, distantly related for that? No, I guess we already do have one, or not? No. Mm. Okay. Maybe he, uh, he already pledged uh, not to join any factions. Oh well. I think also we still have uh, a loan. Yeah. So we're not going to be able to repay that one. <laughs> anytime soon. So uh, let's uh, let's start making some money. And let's start trying to get rid of this excommunicated thing. Because that sucks. <laughs> Lift excommunication. Can afford to lose 12.5 piety. Okay, I can't, I guess. Nope. <laughs> Your friend Lady Samantha is suffering in the custody of her captors, it seems. For we have received reports that she has had frequent visits in her cell from Lord Hector Hestwick. Ah, that's sad. Can we, uh, can we try to, uh, to release her? Plot to rescue from prison, yeah. Let's do that. Okay, you guys can uh, be disbanded. You guys need to... Oh, hey, the um, war against the tyranny of Parentine. Okay, I don't care. Uh, that's fine. The, uh, the the kingdom of the uh, the wildlings fell apart finally. That's great. That's great. Kingdom of beyond the wall. It's been man's talker for uh, for a long time, but he died in the dungeons of this guy. 
I guess he overthrew Mance. But then when he died, the uh, the the kingdom fell apart. All right. House Raider. Interesting. Okay. Oh, then hopefully we will have a bit less invasions from the north. But man, we really need to get rid of that excommunication thing. Is there any way to gain piety? Uh, let's see. Start to employ. Eh? Repay loan. Go on a tour. People are still trying to kill me. This guy is trying to kill uh, Rainis Atroxiaris. I mean, a dragon would help us out a bit, I think. In uh, in, in keeping our, uh, our land. I guess we could do that. Uh, let's see. My plots. I right, rescue uh, rescue this woman. Uh, it seems that Master Lothar of the Driftmark, the uh, spy master of Lord Montres of Dragonstone, yeah, 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 they have him killed immediately. Sure, why not? <laughs> Died under suspicious circumstances. Ah, oh, Samantha. Samantha, you see, she died in the dungeons. And she was strangled to death. Okay, so we cannot... Uh, friendship will only hurt you, say, hurt you in the end. I mean, I'm cynical, right? Yeah. I'm no longer a friend with my wife. I'm only a lover. She still she still hates me, even though she's, uh, we're lovers. <laughs> wow. Now Prince Edric is responding well to uh, his maesters. Great. He's doing out pretty well, actually. He's my second son, I guess. Yeah, Oris is my first son. This guy's my second son. Oris doesn't have any trades yet. Come on, Loris. Do uh, do your best with this uh, with this man. He's my he's my heir, right? He's my heir, you know. Vicious rumors will be removed. Okay, that that's that's good news. That's great news actually, because that's a minus ten opinion. Malice uh, just gone. So good going, uh, whoever it was, Lady uh, Lord, Lord Paramount Reynald. We can still do much good. Oh, 75 piety, great. Ah, we can, uh, that we can of course do that. We can perform charity. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's let's wait for a while. Your wife and husband, what, what need for love? Ah, we don't love each other anymore. By the way, Martel wants to marry my courtier, Ramona Chittering. No, no, no. Don't, don't you want to marry one of my, uh, one of my, uh, my children, man? Rainies, <laughs> he can marry Rainies. Let's not do that. <laughs> um, the betrothal maybe. Sharon is only uh, Jelona is eight years old. Jelona Baratian, my sister. Um, sure, right? Why not? Yeah, she's a bit young, but uh, an alliance with Dorn would be very, very helpful. Because that means he did, he won't join any uh, any factions, and that's uh, that's really important. Because uh, <laughs> we want to keep as many of these lords paramount out of factions as as we can. Because everybody wants to join factions. Light foot or heavy foot? Um, heavy foot, I guess. Heavy foot. Heavy infantry leader is, I think, a bit better. I think heavy infantry is uh, is quite strong in this game. But we wear a different crown. We have Renly's crown now. Aegon the third crown I've always always liked. I think it's quite elegant. Joffrey's crown, Stannis's crown. <laughs> plus zero plus point two uh, prestige. That's, that's more than Renly's crown, I think. No, it's the same. Okay. A crown of red gold wrought with points that look like flames. I mean that that, that looks that sounds like something that uh, Robert the Second might wear. Aegon the fourth crown, huge and heavy. Magar's crown, sharp black iron points. Yeah, <laughs> let's wear that one. <laughs> Magar the cruel. We are also cruel. And don't you guys forget it. Uh, oh, we, we, we were gonna sell something. Mm, Joffrey's crown we can sell, I guess. How much would that uh, would that yield us? 160 gold. Okay, great. Yeah, Lord Lancel Lannister wants to buy Joffrey's crown. That's fine, I guess. <laughs> is he gonna wear it? Lancel of Riveron. Lord Lancel, the Whisperer of Riveron, now holds Geoffrey's crown. He's not gonna equip it, I guess. But now we are able to pay off our loan, hopefully. So let's uh, let's see. I will pay off half the debt. I do not have the full amount, but I will pay the interest. Okay, we will pay off half the debt. 
depth of 100, uh, 243 is reduced by half. Yes, great. Now we still have to fight uh, this guy. He's already at, <laughs> at minus... Uh, minus a lot. <laughs> so we, we should be quick, actually. Everybody, uh, please join me over here in uh, this little... Because he joined our... Um, our uh, <laughs> I forget almost. What did he do? Oh, he joined the uh, the adventure guy. Yeah, we can't have that. I'm gonna kill your family, man. Take them all into house arrest? No, take them all and send them all into the dungeon, yeah. I'm gonna kill your family, man. <laughs> you shouldn't have messed with me. Uh, execute. Can we not execute more people at once? Let's try. Beat him. Execute. Beat him. Execute. Uh, execute. Uh, execute. We will murder your family, man. You shouldn't have messed with me. Execute. 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 And execute. Mirren Storm. <laughs> I don't know who you are. Because you are a bested daughter. Are oh, you a bested daughter of this guy? We had him. We had them all. The rain weeps over your holes, my man. 100, 100, uh, so I guess we, we murdered most of his family. No, this is a different family even. <laughs> I think. Where is his uh, previous guy who owned this? Yeah, the Ronald. Ronald Musgood. Still four living members. <laughs> but uh, most of them are dead. Okay. Well, that's what you get, my man. We have no quarrel with you. Uh, Rufus, Rufus of Drake Grave, you can... Uh, you can keep your land. You're not a traitor. You imprisoned now by me? Yeah. Should we execute you? No. Let's let's release this guy. Uh, let him bend the knee. He will forfeit Drake Grave. No, let's, yeah, let, let's just take his land, right? Why not? Lordship of Drake Grave. We hold quite a bit of land now. Should maybe give some away. Oris Baratheon uh, is nine years old only. Could maybe give some to my uh, my brother. Where is he? Stefan. He, uh, he became a pretty terrible guy, but uh, we can give him the... Oh, this is the Duchy of Shipbreaker Bay. What else do we hold, then? Wait, is that... Oh, Storm's End, Drake Grave, the King's Gate. Oh, that's a castle here that we hold, I guess. Storm's Drum we also hold. That's here. Right, 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 right. Okay, so that's uh, a castle for the Lord of the Stormlands uh, later, I guess. This one we can give to, uh, to Stefan. Where is he? Stefan, uh, my brother, I have something for you. The uh, Lordship of Drake gra Drake's Grave. Here you go. Enjoy. Enjoy, my man. I think once my, my kid has grown up, we will... Uh oh, this is a Jordan. Oh, this is the, that guy. Okay, right. Uh, yeah, I can be merciful. Uh, whatever, I can release this kid. I don't care about him. I grant titles to whoever I like. Thank you. Yeah, shut up, Luther Waters and Garla the Gallant. I can give uh, I can give this title to my brother if I want to. Lord Stefan of Drake's grave. I kind of want to go on a grand tour, actually. Go on a tour. But uh, let's let's wait let's wait a while until uh, we we repay our loan at least. Uh, where can we do that? Repay loan on fifty-seven gold vineyard. Okay, that's almost almost done. I think we will end the episode once we repay that loan. I think uh, that actually did us quite a bit of good, that whole uh, Castamere thing. Intimidating, yeah. <laughs> Revolt risk minus 2%. Vessels are 50% less likely to join hostile factions or start plots. Great. So uh, we, we dealt with, with, with these, these traitors incredibly harshly. We killed their entire family. And that, that, that really put the fear, uh, the fear, uh, the healthy fear in the, uh, in the hearts of our vessels, which is good. 
because we're not going to be able to rule uh, by love so why not rule by fear right and also yeah we we, we had some clever marriages this episode so uh we will be able to uh hopefully avoid any major faction revolts let's see oh lord paramount oh, i i clicked that away but lord paramount olimar killed somebody this <laughs> this old man he's still a great fighter good going olimar we like you this is your first kill huh you amateur i killed 24 people already <laughs> Luthor Waters, yeah, that's the, uh, the best son of Marjorie, right? Yeah. Could send him to the Reach, I guess. We could even give him the Reach, I suppose. Because we have a strong claim on the Reach. Yeah, strong claim on the Kingdom of the Reach. We claim on the High Lordship of Dragonstone. Okay, well, we, we will have uh, Shireen's... Uh, oh, this is not Shireen. What happened to Shireen? What happened to Stannis, actually? Is he still alive? He had cancer the other day, but I guess he survived. He's still... Uh, yeah, beyond the wall, I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Stannis, what is what happened to your daughter? She died. What happened to her family? Ronet, Ronet Baratheon. We could give him the the High Lordship of Dragonstone, I guess. Do we only have a claim on the High Lordship? Or also the Lordship? Not just the High Lordship, okay. So it won't help uh, much. We can't give him any land. Don't know, but uh, yeah, to be honest, I didn't really notice that we have quite a big branch of the family uh, developing here uh, on Stannis' side. Let's hope uh, they won't be dangerous. Uh, Don't know, yeah, Ironborn, okay, whatever. 157, right? Yeah, so we can almost repay the loan. 157, yes, okay. Uh, repay loan. There we go. We are no longer in debt. It took us only... Uh, like eight years of rule, six years, <laughs> but we're out of debt. Okay, this episode we uh, we fought in the north. We uh, fought off an invader, uh, who we were able to beat quite quickly. We were able to to rule through fear and int intimidation. Uh, <laughs> nobody likes us, but uh, but they are still kept in line by uh, by fear and also by clever marriages. So uh, let's uh, let's see how long Robert can keep this up, because. Um, in the end, I think it's better to <laughs> have your subjects uh, rule under you voluntarily. But on, on the other end, what did Ro Robert Bratian say? I've got seven kingdoms to rule. One king, seven kingdoms. Do you think honor keeps them in line? Do you think it's honor that's keeping the peace? It's fear. Fear and blood. <laughs> and I guess we are living by our namesake, our, uh, our uncle, Uncle Robert. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, okay, let's, let's see if... Uh, Robert the Cruel, Robert the Young, will be able to uh, to keep the Iron Throne. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and see you uh, next episode. Bye-bye.